let's talk about magnesium during pregnancy. So important. Magnesium, as we know, is just so essential for our body and it promotes the functioning of over 300 enzymes. During magnesium, the body's need for this mineral, this master mineral increases and the need for it. Also magnesium deficiency, regrettably, and it's important to know this because you can fix it. It increases the risk of spontaneous miscarriages, premature childbirth and malformations. It is also linked to high blood pressure during pregnancy. And as we said before, our bodies cannot produce magnesium. And so this is why it's so very important topically, all my you know, pregnant women that are in my life, I just like gift them as much magnesium and the flakes and the gels and the lotion to make sure that they are getting the proper amounts and the adequate amounts of magnesium for a healthy, healthy pregnancy and baby. And so it's so important how much magnesium should be taken during your pregnancy. So let's talk about that for a minute. You know, before conception, and it's so great how everybody's just planning and just really recognizing the need to take care of your bodies before pregnancy, great, and just kudos to you guys. You know, increase your magnesium by 10 milligrams for every 2.2 pounds per day. And then of course, during pregnancy, it's the same. We want to have that increase of 10 milligrams of magnesium. And then, you know, about at the end phase of your pregnancy, you can gradually start lowering that consumption or that topical absorption down to back to normal levels. Of course, I would be remiss if I did not say consult with your doctor, your gynecologist, and anyone else that you need to for, for these requirements. And just for a little added encouragement during our pregnancies, you know, there's been a, you have, during pregnancy, there's a lot of abdominal cramps, a lot of tightness, contractions, mood swings, headaches, and all of this could be a lack of, of magnesium in the body. And so once again, what an easy way to be able to increase your levels of magnesium and have a very healthy pregnancy. And last, but certainly not least regarding pregnancy, you know, magnesium uh, deficiencies can lead to hypertension, which is what we talked about earlier. But also during pregnancy, hypertension is very dangerous and it shows up as preeclampsia. And so for more than 25 years, please know that magnesium sulfate has been applied successfully for the treatment of preeclampsia. And that's why going back to when we know we're gonna conceive during that pregnancy, using topical magnesium and making sure our magnesium levels are up. And if you do have the occurrence of hypertension during pregnancy, a daily intake of three to 600 milligrams of magnesium is recommended. Now be aware, what are those symptoms? Headaches, edema, visual disturbances, heightened reflexes, abdominal pains, muscle cramps, muscle twitches, proteins present in the urine. So work with your doctor, make sure that your levels are being tested and make sure that you are applying your magnesium topically. Please take out a daily break every day and soak your feet in magnesium flakes. You can even put one or two flakes in a bottle of water, eight ounce bottle of water, and sip on that all day. It's very important and I think that as we can tell now what, how helpful and useful magnesium can be during your successful pregnancy. And, and now for the most important part, how to increase our magnesium levels using magnesium topically for very quick and efficient restoration of our intracellular magnesium levels. And so it's really simple. There's just not a lot of instruction. Your oils. We have oils for sensitive skin. We have oils with Opti MSN to help the magnesium penetrate through the skin. Basically, you just put it in the palm of your hands and you just massage it into your calves, your feet in particular. I like to really concentrate on those reflexology points and then put your socks on and you're good to go.
And so one of my very favorite ways to, to use magnesium to increase my magnesium levels is using magnesium flakes in the bathtub. Now, while I do love soaking my feet in the magnesium and talk about an excellent affiliate, ladies, for, well, men too, for your feet, I wish more of the pedicure places use it because it just makes your feet baby soft anyways, is in the bath. Using, I use about two to three cups of my magnesium flakes in the bathtub, and I just love it. I also use um, essential oils at the same time just to enhance the experience. And it's really important though, you want that water to be warm but not hot because we want to absorb the magnesium. We do not want to be in the tub sweating and eliminating. And so that's kind of important. This is very different from an Epsom salt experience in the bathtub. So enjoy your bath. So after you've enjoyed your bath, it's really cool. You can also use your body lotions and body butters. And these are just excellent to use. Uh, they're actually my daily moisturizer. I use them every day. I use them on my hands, my arms, my feet, my legs, my face, everything. I also at nighttime use my magnesium good night body uh, lotion as it has melatonin in it. So it's just, you know, at the end of the day, that extra stress, just kind of trying to work it out. And I use my magnesium with my melatonin lotion. And that is just amazing. Uh, and it just, I use it about 30 minutes or I might, you know, take my shower, put my magnesium on. And it just really makes for a good night's rest.